And you know what? Let me just let me just rabbit trail here for a couple minutes, because I think that a lot of people miss this. You see, the Bible talks about, and I preach about, divorce. God hates divorce. God hateth putting away. God teaches in Ephesians chapter five about, and other many other places, that men are to love their wives. Wives are to reverence their husband. We get all that. We understand that. We got the mechanics of it. We got the mechanics of these things down. And look, I think that there's many Christian people out there that the wife would never get divorced and the husband would never get divorced. And I've, had, I've, I've known many people like that. But what I think a lot of people miss, and I think should probably be preached on more, is the relationship. Is the relationship. Because in our lives, if I never get divorced from my wife, and my wife never wants to get divorced from me, praise God, my children are all under my authority, the Bible says so. But I'm not guaranteed the relationship. There's no guarantee for that. And look, here's the irony. Here's the irony. Just like knowledge, the more time you spend with somebody, just like knowledge and the economic lesson I gave you on knowledge, that the more knowledge there is, the less we value it. The irony is this, the more time we spend with people, the less we seem to value that time. And this is what I told my wife uh, after our anniversary this year. I don't know if I was just thinking about it. And I said, you know what? I, I said, we can't get used to each other. Because I wake up every morning and she's there. And I come home every day and she's there. And she's always there. And she's always waiting for me and she's always saying goodbye to me. And I don't ever want to get used to her. And I told her, I don't want you ever to get used to me. Because I'm always there. She can always rely on me. I mean, hopefully, not perfect. But you see, a husband and a wife can get used to each other. And I don't want to get to heaven, and this is why I was thinking about this verse, I don't want to get to heaven and realize that there was 10 years where I got used to my wife. And I, I didn't appreciate her like I should have. And she, maybe she got used to me. And we didn't do what? We didn't appreciate that relationship. We didn't build that relationship like we could have. We don't have 76 years. We don't have, you get married when you're 20. You get married when you're 22. What, what do you got, 50 years? We don't have that much time. I don't want to get to heaven and realize I wasted half of it. I want to spend every single day, I want to utilize the time. I want to spend, you know, look, you can spend time together, but realize that I don't want to realize that I wasted 10 years. I don't really want to realize that I wasted one year. I don't want to realize that I wasted one week. Because I believe that I'll suffer that loss. I believe that I will look back and I'll be like, oh man, I could have, we could have had a better relationship for that year, or that week, or that 10 years, or whatever it is. So for this reason, I believe that if you waste time elsewhere, doing things without your family, doing things without your children, I, I believe that you will know what they could have been, is what I'm trying to get at here. And I believe you will suffer that loss. I believe you will know that one day.